Yeah, it was like the worst nightmare a coach can have right now. Uh, for me personally, I was totally shocked because I've known John a long time. And, uh, and it was totally out of character from what I've known. And uh, so I was extremely uh, shocked by the incident. And, and uh, But we have to move forward. Give me a chance. Oh, it's going to be a foul. Oh, what well, can you tell us about Coach's message? Well, it's simple. Um, I don't think any of us condone hitting women. Um, I think a lot of us have, have seen that in person, you know what I mean? So, uh, and he just simply said that uh, as a coach and as a coaching staff, you know, he can't condone that. Um, and I mean, obviously, we understand that. Obviously, we want to recognize what he did as wrong and uh, just help him through it, give him the help that he needs, and uh, that he comes out on the, on the other side of this better and stronger and learning and can be a testimony to, to other young men uh, that are coming up and, you know, in their relationships with their wives and their girlfriends, how to handle it the right way. I mean, I'm more sad for the whole situation, you know, the families, you know, involved on both sides. I mean, it's a young marriage, uh, got a beautiful little boy, and uh, I'm just saddened for just this whole ordeal on both sides. We have 10,000 kids in our system here in Maricopa County who are either neglected or abused, and, and we need to help them, and making more awareness um, if this bad scar on the NFL, as you want to say right now, makes the rest of the world aware of what's going on, it's damn good.